hello dear students and friends today we are going to discuss about the individual agent of anti amorphic and anti helminthic drugs in yesterday's class we have discussed about amorphiasis as well as helminthiasis and their uh, positive organism along with the spreading pattern and uh, the drugs useful for anti amorphic and anti helminthic drugs along with their proper classification to today we are going to discuss one of them and uh, in each individual agent for each individual agent we are going to discuss the brand name the doses form the structures and iupac name is available in the syllabus along with their uses and properties uh, so metronidazole is a well used and well known anti amorphic drugs used for amorphiasis dysentery it is a uh, very uh, popular in a brand name of metrogen plazil okay. other brands of metronidazole are plavel mesaldazole emadal etc so this is available in single form as well as the combination with other like uh, albendazole or the other uh, anti amorphic or anti helminthic drugs to control the amorphiasis in terms of classification it is a class of nitroimidazole derivative okay so nitroimidazole derivative the structure of metronidazole contains the imidazole ring and having the five position nitro and the doses form of metronidazole is available as tablet ointment gel as well as suppository form in terms of uses it is useful for a normal amoebiasis or the amoebic dysentery that is caused by protozoa that is antamoeba histolytica it is also useful for treating vaginosis uh, this is the uh, bacterial infection of vaginal area along with uh, it is also given to the women before any gynecological surgery to prevent this uh, infection in the uterus or other reproductive area along with that it is also useful for helicobacter pylori infection or uh, the in enteric infection that is caused by helicobacter pylori along with that it is also useful in pseudo enterocolitis pseudo enterocolitis is the uh, inflammation or uh, uh, partial inflammation of enteric uh, zone of your stomach in terms of properties it is white to pale yellow crystalline powder with a bitter taste along a mass of having 171 gram per mole and melting point of 160 degree centigrade it is soluble in water and ethanol and stability in terms of stability it can uh, form a dark color on exposure to light so it could be stored in a tightly closed container below 25 degree centigrade or room temperature over room temperature it can degrade uh, and uh, the half life of this it is short the so next uh, individual agent under anti amorphic drugs is diloxanide furoid diloxanide furoid is only available in the tablet form with the brand name of dialox furamide entamide eldazole amiclin so eldazole is uh, the uh, diloxanide furo uh, furoid with albendazole combination it is used in luminal and amoebiasis so we have classified the amoebiasis into two form that is luminal as well as systemic so it is useful for luminal amoebiasis that is the uh, amoebiasis that caused by entamoeba histolytica in the lumen area it is also useful for helicobacter pylori infection along with pseudo enterocolitis the properties it is a white crystalline powder having a mass of 328 g per mole and melting point of 112 degree centigrade uh, it is less soluble in water and uh, it is generally unstable in presence of uv light as well as sunlight so uh, it is also can be stored at room temperature so paromomycin is another drug in this class having a uh, brand name of paromycin humatin humagen 
it is available in the form of gel tablet and syrup uh, paramomycin used to treat the intestinal amebiasis is also known as luminal amebiasis and uh, it is also known to be used as hepatic encephalopathy so uh, along with hepatic encephalopathy it is also used full in leishmaniasis that is also known as kalajar so kalajar is a very rare uh, disease for now but uh, when it is it was evident about the kalajar uh, the drug paramomycin uh, was used to control this disease along with the uh, amoebic infection it is also useful for uh, helminthiasis so this is used for tape worm infections okay. so tape worm infection is a, a worm infection which classified under the helminthiasis so helminthiasis is a caused a disease bacterial disease caused by helminth so under helminth it comes tape worm round worm pin worm all kind of worms are there so in terms of properties it is also white crystalline powder having a mass of 615 uh, 615 gram per mole paramomycin is a uh, class of amino glycoside amino glycoside that means it is having a glucose moiety okay so when there is a glucose so generally it the uh, compound becomes water soluble so it is soluble in water and due to presence of glucose the mass of this compound is higher it is stable in air but uh, it is uh, unstable in light so when it exposed to light for a longer period of time it can be darkened and it is also stored in tightly closed container at room temperature or below the room temperature so next compound under piperazine uh, uh, sorry anti amoebic drugs is piperazine so piperazine is a heterocyclic nucleus as structure is given and the structure is given in your syllabus also so it is nothing but a, a simple six membered ring with nitrogen at one and four position without any saturation unsaturation sorry without any unsaturation so uh, the iupc name of piperazine is also piperazine due to uh, that uh, fact that it is only a heterocyclic nucleus so piperazine is having a uh, very much anti amoebic property due to its bacterial coagulation uh, property it can uh, coagulate the protein presence in the organism which it is effective for so piperazine is available in the brand name of avizin anipar vermol ormacid etc uh, so ormacid uh, due to the fact that it is uh, effective against the worm infection that was that's why it is named as wormacid it is available in the form of powder solution suspension and syrup formulation it is used for pin worm and round worm infection as well as used for intestinal obstruction so round worm and pin worm infection so this is as the anti helminthic drugs and uh, apart from being used as anti helminthic drugs it is also used uh, for treating intestinal obstruction that is the any kind of um, uh, resistance that can uh, develop in the intestinal wall uh, to move or to uh, circulate the food along with the intestinal tube it is very much a, a needle like crystal uh when you it can be uh, isolated from natural products also uh, from the black paper and uh, the black where you uh, extract the uh, piperazine from black paper it occurred as a colorless needle like crystal and having a very much less uh, less mass of 86 g per mole and moderate melting point of 106 degree centigrade it is also soluble in water and uh, it is stable up to the temperature of uh, 270 degree centigrade and acid and neutral media in storage uh, due to presence of nitrogen it can uh, emit the toxic fumes of nitrogen oxide upon heating the next uh, drugs under this anti helminthic uh, classification is dec that is diethyl carbamazine 
DEC is known as diethyl carbamazine and it is also a derivative of piperazine. So see the nucleus that is there is piperazine and in the piperazine there is hydrogen in both the nitrogen where in DEC or diethyl carbamazine there are substitution. So in terms of IUPAC we can take the uh, this moiety as a parent moiety. So the substitution are NN. So this is the amine. So when we have uh, studied the classification or uh, the particular IUPAC name of amine, we have uh, seen that the amines are named when there is di or tri substitution in amine, they termed as NN or NNN di, uh, diethyl or triethyl or trialkyl or whatever it is. So there are two ethyl groups are there over the nitrogen. So it is named as NN diethyl, 4-methyl, 4-methyl that means if we are naming from this nitrogen, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's either side of this ring, the nitrogen will be as 4. So in 4 position, there are a methyl group. So that is NN diethyl, 4-methyl, piperazine, one carboxamide. So this is the parent chain that has been taken as CONH2. CONH2 is known as carboxamide. So carboxamide is the parent chain. So what are the uh, substitution present in this carboxamide? So carboxamide, their uh, substitution is NN diethyl and 4 ethyl piperazine. So this uh, moiety is taken as the substitution in the carboxamide. So this is 4-methyl piperazine in, in diethyl carboxamide. Okay. So this is available in the brand name of Banoset, Hetrazan, Dicar, Diatonate, etc. and available in the tablet and injectables doses form only. Use it is very much effective in the anti-helminthic drugs against roundworm as well as pinworm infection. It is also useful for the uh, condition of pulmonary eosinophila and loesis. So pulmonary eosinophila is the uh, increase in, in eosinophil count in the pulmonary area. So eosinophil comes under the blood cells and loesis is the uh, infection caused by loa loa. It is the organism loa loa the disease condition caused by the loa loa is loesis. It is solid powder having a mass of 199 gram per mole and melting point of 48 degrees centigrade. It is soluble in water, but um, it is hygroscopic in nature. So it can absorb the moisture present in atmosphere very quickly. So due to presence of moisture, you have to pull, uh, keep it in closed container and uh, due to presence of um, due to presence of nitrogen it can emit a toxic fume of nitrogen oxides so thank you students thanks for watching so uh, this was the all about anti amoebic and anti helminthic drugs so next day we are going to start a new topic of discussion and we'll see the new class of drugs or uh, we'll study the uh, brand name and uh, usefulness of these drugs. Uh, so for now, uh, we have ended the anti and anti-helminthic drugs. So if you have any queries regarding anti-helminthic or anti drugs or the disease condition or any particular drug, you can pin uh, any comments uh, in the under the comment section. Otherwise, uh, hope you like the video. Thank you for your time.